So I recently got access to some really cool um, old files that I made a long time ago. This was a robot, a little battle bot I made, a three pounder. Um, turned out really cool. Let me turn on the armor panels. These just were all really thin titanium. Okay. And uh, it looks really awesome. Um, It had a, an arm that was spring-loaded. It would come down and had a, a mace on it so it could smack other robots. You know, this it wasn't really designed to win, honestly. I mostly just, this is my first time ever making a robot. I just kind of wanted it to survive and have kind of a cool factor to it. And uh, it definitely delivered on that. Let's see, it worked out. But anyway, let me show you some of the insides really quick. Sorry, now this is horrible. This recording my computer screen. Um, pretty straightforward. I actually ended up taking some things out. So it was going to have four wheels for extra grip and extra turning, but I ended up just doing two wheels. I just used these two front wheels direct drive from these motors. Had one on each side. Um, these are all 3D printed stands right here. And uh, they also connected the bottom, which had an aluminum covering on it on a 3D printed plastic. This blue part was all 3D printed. See how it interlocks in there. This base kind of held it together right here. Had another aluminum piece right here that held everything. Um, all the titanium sides screwed to these stands. It actually ended up being flexible enough that it was really, really strong. Um, took a real beating. Uh, the weapon was really cool. So I had this big, uh, you know, angled gear motor with a worm gear in there, and these two gears with half the teeth ground off. And uh, as it would turn, the teeth would only catch just enough to pull, to pull this all the way back, and then it would snap loose, and you know it would it would lose the teeth. And it would it had a spring on it that was attached back here, and it would just smack forward. And actually, it had quite a bit of power. It did pretty good. It was pretty awesome. I'm gonna take you guys out of the shop now and kind of show you how this thing works. See if we can get it running again. I recently found it buried in a bunch of stuff out there. And uh, you can see the damage from the first, from its two battles it was in. I'll see if I can find some footage of that too. Um, somebody filmed it, it was a few years ago. It was awesome. It, during the battle it never stopped running. Alright, so here it is in all its leftover glory. You can see it got beat up pretty good. You see how I had to replace some of the screws with different screws. What's cool though is even though all this damage is done, it never stopped driving. I'll try and find a video of the fight here and splice it in here. But um, it never stopped being able to drive. I just opened it up just now just to make sure I didn't um, cannibalize any of the parts because I want to get it running again. I'm going to get my remote hooked up and see if it all still is programmed and still runs. I may even use this string and this nut to kind of put the mace back on it. I gave the original one away to the guy who uh, knocked it off the robot. All right, let's try and remember where all these panels go. This one has the safety switch on it, so. It wasn't the best design, because nothing, there's not very much symmetry to the pieces. Almost every piece is different, but, for my first robot design, it's not bad. Could have been a lot worse. I mean, it never stopped working, even when it was taking a beating, so that's got to count for something. I'm not going to put all these on because there's so many. But just for demonstration purposes, we only need a few on each. And most of these screws are destroyed. But I was surprised when I got all when I had all the screws on during the the battle. I was surprised how strong this this setup was with just these stands and all the the panels on the outside and these panels on the top just connected here. It was a really really strong robot for what it was. Okay, let's see these. Yep, yeah, that's a side one. There we go. Save that one for last so I can put the battery in. These front ones got 
peeled back pretty good, but they kept doing their job. Oh, you know, this is a side one. This side one got peeled back. This thing took a real beating during the fights. Never really dealt any damage. My weapon was lacking in the ability to do that. Definitely had some cool factor though. We'll see if it still works here in a minute. Used, used to work pretty good. Just no, not powerful enough to do any damage to another robot. That's enough there, these front ones. This titanium just cracks when it gets damaged. It doesn't really bend too much. It more just sits so brittle that it just starts to crack and separate and flake off. front one. See it's pretty sweet looking once you get the armor on the outside. It's pretty beastly looking turtle. Hold this corner down. Alright, battery time. Let's see if this is charged. That's kind of obnoxious. Let me figure this out. Okay, now it should work. Okay, now it's actually off. This is a safety switch that can't just be knocked out by um, vibration and stuff. I'm make sure my antenna is out of the way. I never really got, I had the time to make everything sit in here really pretty, so basically I drive it and hope nothing shorted out. And uh, nothing did, so that strategy has worked out great so far. I'll put all the armor on just so it looks good. A lot of redundancy with all these screws, but. This is supposed to be three pounds and it actually, when I was finished, it came out to exactly three pounds. Um, with the mace and everything, the old one. I gave that old one away after the battle, but there it is all put together, battery inside, and you can see the damage done during those battles. It was pretty awesome. This thing got thrown around the cage quite a bit. You can see it got some really hard hits on this side. Mostly everything held together though. I never lost a panel. I never lost um, control. I was always able to keep driving. Um, it just it was a beast. It just couldn't deal any damage so it never really actually won any fights. Okay, got the little makeshift mace hooked onto it. She's using this giant net. Um, let's see here. Let's see if I can... Okay, it should kick on any second now. There it is. I have a friend who helped me do the electronics and he set that up for me. I love it. He's a, a real electrical engineer. Not just a fake one like me. All right, let's drive it. Let's see if I can remember how. Pretty sure it's just one toggle. Yep. And it's a pretty quick little robot. You know what I need? Just to be safe. Safety glasses. All right. Uh, let's remember, let's see. I think I flipped this switch. There we go. <laughs> so it'll just keep going and I could stop it when it's all like ready. So I can 
this, this nut is too big. And then I can drive up here, turn it back on. <laughs> is my little three pound at weight robot. It was just a lot of fun. That was a blast. I need to get this thing fixed up. I have an idea, an idea to make this a little bit quicker. The spring loaded, as you saw, it doesn't do, doesn't do the best. Um, it leaves a lot to be wanted and it doesn't do any damage to any other robots. This, it would just, I had kind of a little metal cube on here and it would just dink. The best I could hope to do was to uh, get it in their weapon system and tangle them up or break it or have them break themselves but that never happened all that happened is they hit my the mace on there and ripped the chain and launched that thing into the side of the wall and put a it was awesome anyway thanks for watching six five four three two one Fight robots, fight! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a real slobber today. We've got the entire Friday night lineup from NPC battling it out in the box.
balance weather is. Scooby Doo has tweaked its brain. This little retro bot in here just needs to keep running. Twenty seconds left. Oh, they don't actually dead. And that's the end of our match.